You must have heard of it by now. It's been all over the news, just like the crypto statue as recently. They share that in common. They're both written on code, by the way. What's different about them is that while Kryptos has so far been undecipherable, this hasn't. It's called Perplexus. That's Latin for cryptic, intricate, or puzzling. What's puzzling is why it's been made. The first instance of it that we know comes from a file sharing website, a torrent. A user downloaded it after reading the file name and where it was posted, tagged with Perplexus and Uncrackable. He or she then complained across some social networking sites, Twitter, Facebook, the norm. They were confused and annoyed that they had spent three hours downloading what appeared to simply be a huge file, a JPEG. It looked like a blue pyramid made of binary code, all ones and zeros, on a black background. As per usual on the internet, a storm of activity blew up. It didn't take very long for people to realize that the image was actually an image archive files compressed and hidden within an image. It's not very difficult to do, you don't need much skill, and it shouldn't really have been obvious from such a large image size. I myself downloaded perplexus.jpg. I couldn't pass up what sounded like such a fun opportunity. I fancied myself as being moderately skilled in cracking codes. I knew it wouldn't be me who figured it out, that it would be a technician or coder who'd studied it all their life, but it'd be interesting to see how far I got. As it turns out, it wasn't as difficult as I thought. I first did a full scan of the file. You never know what nasty things might lurk deep in the bowels of code. It contained 51 files, all text files, TXT. They were named perplexus1.txt, perplexuscopy.txt, perplexuscopy1.txt, and so on. At least 50 different codes, all spelling out one thing. It's written in computer codes, binary, hexadecimal, MD5, SHA-1. It's also got older codes, utilizing Caesar and substitution ciphers. They spell out two lines. Man is flawed. He is blind. He does not wish to see. Let your eyes open. The truth shall set you free. It sounds like religious fanatics, but who knows. Did I say all 51 files were text? Mm, not quite. The last contains something quite different. Upon opening it, a black screen opens for a second and vanishes. It's like a command window, running some code. It's probably a virus, which is why I immediately scan my computer again. Nothing. Strangely enough, every website I go to seems to have this string of numbers and letters everywhere. I looked it up, and sure enough, it's the two lines in all of the Perplexus files. Most people would be very worried by this point, but I know that the command window could simply have stolen my internet cookies and be encoding what it found in the files, and somehow inserting it into everywhere I view. Maybe it's like a filter. Regardless, every website I go to, it puts that all over the HTML, like if you right-click and inspect element on a website. Sometimes I can't help myself wondering what else that command window did. The worst part was in the third week. Opening any page would redirect me to an image, the image that all of these files that had been extracted from, the blue pyramid. I had a bright idea. All the binary that made up the pyramid, was it random ones and zeros, or did it spell something? Only one way to find out. It took me about an hour to write all of it down from the image, and then I ran it through a translator using another computer. It was made up of rhyming couplets. My blood was chilled as I read through. Not so stupid after all, but neither innocent as Eve at the fall. For man cannot cleanse their ancestors' sin, nor change the inherent evil that lurks within. Like a caterpillar becoming a butterfly, man is programmed to live and die. Yet where butterflies fly and insects roam, men lay waste to the rich, deep loam. Steam and smoke and sweat and blood, human tears and bones and mud. These are the products of human filth. It is pointless to deny, once dead and burned to ashes, still polluting the sky. Yet we have made progress, chemicals and bombs, the perfect solution to every human wrong. Good for one thing, removing human scum painting the earth, not where we belong. Not so long now it would be heralded by flames, 
and death and doom and torture and mortal human pain. For forty days and forty nights I shall wait, and then Lady Gaia shall show you to your fate. My screen went black. Red numbers appeared on it. Forty days. Thirty-nine days. Twenty-three hours. Fifty-nine minutes. Fifty-nine seconds. Thirty-nine days. Twenty-three hours. Fifty-nine minutes. Fifty-eight seconds. Our time is running out. <laughs>